Welcome to the DIY Honda Garage channel. DTC P1890 indicates an issue with the CVT, continuously variable transmission, speed control system in the Honda Civic models from 2016 to 2021. When this error code appears, it signifies that the transmission control module, TCM, has detected a malfunction in the gear shift control system. The system's primary responsibility is to manage the drive and driven pulleys hydraulic pressures, ensuring smooth transitions between gear ratios during driving. The TCM saves specific data to its memory, triggering the DTC, indicating a significant variation between the target drive pulley speed and the actual speed. A difference of 500 RPM or more that persists for at least 18 seconds can activate this code, which may affect the vehicle's performance and driving experience. Drivers may notice issues during gear shifts or a blinking shift position indicator on their dashboard. The error code P1890 relates to the CVT shift control system, which is composed of several critical components, including the transmission control module, TCM, drive pulley, and driven pulley. The TCM's role is to interpret data such as vehicle speed and throttle position, dynamically adjusting the hydraulic pressures in the drive and driven pulleys to match target speeds. The drive pulley is found within the transmission assembly, serving to transfer power from the engine while the driven pulley interacts with the CVT belt mechanism to shift between gear ratios. If the TCM identifies a consistent disparity in pulley speeds, it triggers a malfunction diagnosis, signaling a potential issue with shift logic or hydraulic pressure regulation. The location of these pulleys within the engine bay is essential for understanding how they impact driving performance and response. The primary possible cause of DTC P1890 is a failure in the CVT shift function. This can stem from various underlying issues, such as problems with the hydraulic pressure control solenoids, which are responsible for managing the drive and driven pulley pressures. Any malfunction in these components can disrupt the expected pulley speeds, leading to significant discrepancies that trigger the DTC. While the provided documentation emphasizes this fault as a likely cause, it's important to understand that other factors may also contribute to the issue. Potential wear in the CVT system or issues like low fluid pressure can also influence the overall functionality of the transmission, possibly leading to the DTC being stored in the TCM memory. When DTC P1890 is present, several symptoms may manifest, offering clues to the problem's nature. One of the most immediate indicators is a blinking shift position indicator on the dashboard, signifying that the TCM has detected a fault. Drivers may also experience abnormal shift responses, noticing delays or harsh transitions when changing gears. In some instances, these symptoms can lead to reduced engine performance, as the discrepancies in the CVT operation compromise the vehicle's ability to adjust the power efficiently. Drivers may find that the Civic struggles to accelerate smoothly or maintains inadequate power delivery, which can affect overall driving satisfaction. Recognizing these symptoms early can assist in timely diagnosis and repair of the CVT system. A first troubleshooting step for addressing the DTC P1890 involves starting the engine. This critical initial action prepares the vehicle for assessment, allowing the TCM to perform self-diagnostic checks that are essential for identifying inconsistencies in the CVT shift control system. When the engine is started, all electronic systems are activated, including the TCM which begins to execute its monitoring functions. This step is foundational, as the TCM will check various parameters, such as drive pulley speed and accelerator pedal position to determine whether any existing conditions align with the triggers tied to DTC P1890. 
Failure to start the engine means subsequent steps may be impacted, as vital engine RPM and speed data will not be available for diagnostics. Following the engine startup, the next step in troubleshooting DTC P1890 requires the driver to gradually accelerate to a speed of 37 miles per hour, 60 kilometers per hour, and maintain this speed for at least one minute. This step is crucial as it puts the vehicle under conditions that closely simulate normal driving scenarios, ensuring the TCM can gather relevant data about the CVT operation. During this period, the TCM will monitor input shaft speed and compare it against expected parameters. If discrepancies arise during this controlled test, it becomes easier to target which component may be malfunctioning. It is important for technicians to drive safely and adhere to traffic regulations while performing this testing to avoid accidents or damage to the vehicle. But once repairs related to DTC P1890 have been completed, it's essential to clear the DTC and verify proper function. This process typically involves using a scan tool to access the TCM's memory and execute the clear command, which will remove the stored DTCs and any related freeze frame data. Following this, the vehicle should be tested by driving under the same conditions that initially triggered the code. Monitoring the shift position indicator and observing any signs of shift irregularities can help confirm that the CVT is functioning as intended. Ensuring that the DTC does not reappear is a final verification step, confirming that the repair has rectified the issue and that the CVT operates smoothly again. Failure to conduct this verification can lead to unresolved issues persisting in the system, leaving the driver unaware of underlying problems. Performing preventive maintenance on the CVT system is vital to avoid issues such as DTC P1890 in the future. One of the best practices is conducting regular fluid checks, ensuring that the CVT fluid levels are within the manufacturer's specifications. Adequate fluid is essential for optimal hydraulic pressure, which directly influences the operation of the drive and driven pulleys. Additionally, Routine inspections of components, particularly the CVT shift control system accessories like solenoids, can catch wear or malfunctions early. Establishing a set maintenance schedule allows for proactive measures and helps prolong the lifespan of the CVT. Educating drivers about the signs of possible CVT issues can also assist in early detection and timely servicing before significant faults arise. In conclusion, DTC P1890 signifies a critical issue within the CVT speed control system on Honda Civics from 2016 to 2021. Understanding the components involved, such as the TCM, drive, and driven pulleys, is essential for effective troubleshooting. Recognizing the possible causes and symptoms enables technicians to conduct thorough diagnostics ensuring that underlying issues are addressed promptly. Following a systematic troubleshooting process significantly improves the likelihood of accurately diagnosing and repairing the root cause of the problem. Additionally, performing preventive maintenance helps avert future complications, ensuring smooth operation of the CVT system and enhancing the driving experience. Prioritizing these practices ultimately leads to a well-functioning vehicle, reducing the occurrence of unexpected repair needs. Please like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.